to you, Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Patricia, uh, Pastor Pat and uh, Pastor Jose, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't stay away. It's time to come back in. You know, uh, this is where we assemble ourselves together, but also want you to know at the same time that you are the church. You are the body of Christ, okay? Just because you stay away from we, we assemble ourselves together, you're still part of the body of Christ. Amen. But the Bible does say for us to assemble ourselves together, you know, uh, staying home and just watching uh, the TV or saying, well, I'm not going to go to church or, or assemble ourselves together because I can just watch it all on TV and forget about it. Well, guess what? When you're in, uh, having problems and you need to go see a pastor, the person on TV ain't going to come to your house. The pastor will. You need your, your shepherd. You need your shepherd, your local shepherd right there, okay? So don't forget to assemble yourselves, but know for, for, for a fact that you are the body of Christ. You are the church. I don't go to church. I am the church. Wherever you go, God goes. Amen. And you have authority because he's with you. Amen. So I just want you to know that. Grab your sword. Amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but you know, I come to learn. Amen. And see yourself as a learner. Yeah. Don't see yourself as a loser. Yeah. Don't see yourself as, well, I don't know. But, you know, see yourself as a learner. Yes. Remember the little boy I told you about that can count to five? He was so excited he went and told his parents, you know, hey, you know, I learned how to count to five. And he said, one, two, three, four, five. And they said, well, can you count any higher than that? He says, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He wasn't ashamed to say it. And he wasn't ashamed to do it. So what about us? You know, sometimes... The Bible says we got to start off as baby Christians. We got to start off with the milk of the word. Yes. And then we promote on to bigger and better steaks. You yes. know, hey, yes. when you say steaks, you're in Texas, you know, so we have some good steaks. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I can't wait to the fellowship. Anyway, grab your sword, soldier of God. Yes. Amen. And uh, let's confess it like we mean it, man. Amen. Grab your sword. If you don't have one, grab you one. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. But it says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Since I can do what it says I can do. You know, the enemy, people are going to tell you, and you're going to tell yourself, I can't do that. And the world's going to tell you, you cannot do that. Mm. But, you know, the Bible says, I can do. Amen. So be a can-do person. Amen. Amen. You know why? Because the greater one is with you. When you know who you are and who you are in Him, you're going to start doing these things. You know, <laughs> man, I could tell you all kinds of stories. But God wants to use you. Amen. Amen. So you are special. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead, McCarmen. Anyway, we want to welcome you. And you know what? He wants to bless you, encourage you, and change you, and correct you. And we're going to continue with this series we have going on. Count your blessings. Yes. You know, some of us are real champions at counting all our cares, our problems, our negative things. You know, we should, we're so blessed. We don't, we, we, why does it go? I told you this morning is, we're too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. Amen. And when you count on your blessings, you know what? God's going to bless you and bless you and bless you. And when you give, He's going to give you more. And you know what? I want you to know you can never outgive Him. That's it. If you think you're going to outgive Him, forget it. Because He's going to not only give you one on one, He's going to multiply it back to yes, you. Yes, He will. Amen. <laughs> I say, you know, I don't know why I keep getting all these things. I just give and it just comes back double. Uh -huh. It comes back in multitudes. Yeah. Because that's what the word of God says. Amen. So praise God. We won't hold you long. So yeah. be at ease to receive what God has for you. Amen. And know this. God has something for you. Yes. You know, don't come with an attitude. God would never talk to me, you know, because mm -hmm. I've been in the wrong. I've been in this. I've been in that, you know. Mm -hmm. If you look at all our Bible heroes, they all sinned. They all had sin, but God still blessed them. God still used them. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Involve yourself. Commit yourself. Surrender yourself. And let God use you. Amen. amen. Well, come on now. Preach and bunny. Amen to me. All right. <laughs> but you got to leave change. Yes. Don't leave the same. You know, insanity is uh, doing the same thing over and over and over every day, every month, every year. 
and then expecting different results. No, it's not going to change until you make that change. So we're going to be, we, we've been talking about counting your blessings, amen? Yes. Uh, I think we started on the very first, and it says about, have the right attitude, have an attitude of uh, gratitude, amen? Having a grateful attitude has the power to turn things around. Yes. Amen? Praise God. Use your authority. God has given us authority, Amen. but we need to use it. We need to use that authority. Amen? And concentrate on your blessings and not your problems. Yes. We, we had a, some great, great blessings, uh, slides for you, but count on, uh, concentrate on your blessing and not your problem. Yes. And that's where some yeah, of us get stuck. Count on, on your blessings and not on your cares, not on your anxieties, not your worries, or none of these things. You know, some of us are champions that stay in there. No, we need to let it go and come and do what God has called us to do. Yeah. You know, praise God. Some of us uh, are great uh, runners, but you know what? You don't, you don't run with your military suit on. You don't run with your, your work clothes on. You run, you prepare yourself. You put some light clothes on, especially if it's uh, summertime. You put some light clothes on and you go. Why? You took all that extra weight off. Mm -hmm. So when it's time to do God's work, we got to get all them cares off of me. Yes. How can I do God's work if I got too much concerns and too yes. much cares and too many problems concerning yes. me? And I got to go over there and, and, and say, God loves you. Uh -huh. I say, wow. <laughs> if he loves me <laughs> if he, and you're a child of God, I don't want what you got. <laughs> you sound like you're, like, like you're sad. Uh -huh. Like you're mad. Like, you know, you're unhappy. Hmm. Man, you should, we should be the happiest people. Yes. Say, God loves you. You know, God's going to use you for you to walk up to somebody and say, be blessed. Yes. You know, <laughs> for you, it just took two seconds. For them, it could be a lifetime. Say, God loves you. Say, wow, nobody ever told me that. You know, God's telling them all the time, but they're not receiving it. Yeah. They say, well, God never talks to me. But God uses people to go up and say, God loves you. Mm -hmm. Say, wow, somebody told me. Why would, they, anybody, why would anybody tell me that? Mm -hmm. Because God sent you to tell them that. <coughs> and that's going to stay with them for a lifetime. Yes, yes. And that's going to make a turnaround. Yes, Amen. Right. And praise God, you know, but your attitude's got to be right. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to yeah. bless you. Amen. Yeah. Praise right. God. <laughs> yeah. Believers, be glad and give thanks on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a day of Thanksgiving uh, every November. <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving. Well, you know, that's for a nation. That's for us to celebrate a holiday once a year. But on a daily basis as believers, we can celebrate and say thank you. You know, when you wake up, <laughs> that should be your first thank you. Yes. Because he woke you up. You were on God's wake-up list. I praise God. I'm so blessed. I'm on God's wake-up list. And I open my eyes. And say thank you, Lord. If you don't know what else to say, oh no, it's Monday. Oh no, I gotta go to work. You know what kind of attitude do you have? You gotta have the right attitude. Remember, we yes. talked about attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes. I want my God, my my day to go right. And we're gonna be talking about this. But the Bible says, "This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. No matter what is waiting for you." Mm -hmm. You know what? If God is for me, who will be against me? Amen. Praise God. I'm excited all about you. Believers yeah, should be the happiest people. Uh -huh. People, when they see you happy, they're either going to be jealous or they're going to say, you know, I, I want what you got. What, yeah. what you high on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you drinking? No, <laughs> I say, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I say, praise God. Remember, we talked about this. If they don't like that, then just tell them, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> oh, we know. say, praise God. Well, I like your Jesus, you know, hey, whatever you're drinking, whatever you're taking, whatever you're high on, you know, I want some of that. Well, it's Jesus. Praise God. But it's your attitude. You know, when you count your blessings, your attitude is going to be up and up. Remember, your attitude determines your altitude. Are you going to be high on him? Well, your attitude should show it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Too blessed to be stressed. Don't forget God's benefits. Amen. Woo. Praise God. I mean, we can... Yeah. We can go off on this, you know, hey, I have a job, and I'm more concerned about my job's benefits mm -hmm. than I have God's attitudes, or God's benefits, or God's benefits are His blessings. Yeah. He's going to bless you, and bless you, and bless you, and bless yes. you. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
for your benefits. Amen. Woo. And we have some, some great scriptures that, that we've talked about. But count your blessings and give thanks to God, to God on, a, on a daily basis. Not just once in a while, you know, or, or you know, when things are going good. When things are going bad, we're blaming God. Well, you know, God wants me to suffer today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. What you need to do is you need to get a refill. You need to get mm -hmm. a scriptural refill. You yeah. need to get a word refill yeah. and stay up and up so you don't get a drop, you know. Because the Bible says he's got on the mountain the and he's got on in the valley. In the valley. <laughs> Amen. So he's still going to be God, you know. Uh, uh, the three Hebrew children were thrown in the fire. Mm -hmm. He's God in the fire. Yes. You know, Jonah in the belly of the whale of the, the fish. The, you know, yeah, it says <laughs> he's still God. Yes. You know, wherever you go, he knows. Yes. You know, we try to hide, but we can't hide from him. No, he no. knows. And you know what? I want you to know. Somebody needs to know this. He knows the worst of you, and he loves yes. you the most. Mm -hmm. Gloria a Dios. Okay, yeah. and he won't walk away from you, That's and he right. won't talk about you. That's it. He's just waiting for you to come home. Yes. Somebody yes. needs to hear that. It's time yes. for you to come home. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Psalms one hundred. Mm -hmm. We're just reviewing right now, but Psalms one hundred. Open your Bibles there. Yes. Everybody should know this. And you know what? You can read it on a daily basis, uh -huh. not just once in a while. But Psalms one hundred is awesome. Yes, it is. Amen. All the Psalms is, is, is good. Uh -huh. Amen. What does it say? It says, Make a joyful yeah, noise Lord. unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. gladness. You know, if you're going to serve God, serve Him with gladness, mm -hmm. not sadness. Mm -hmm. Well, how can you be a witness unto God if you're, all you're doing is being sad and yeah. your attitude's not right? Yeah. Forget it. Don't go. Mm -hmm. to, he said, Luke, he says, hot or lukewarm, I mean, uh, cold, but not lukewarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He says, so serve the Lord with gladness, come for his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. And you can come to him, you can sing. Pastor can come, you know, and nobody going to say nothing about his singing. <laughs> <laughs> know ye that the Lord he is God is he has made us, and now we ourselves. We are his people. Yes. You are his person. You are, yes. you are his You are His champion. You are his winner. Yes. And uh, he has made us, but we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Amen. The good thing is, we can enter his gates. Yes. It means, well, you can't go to God. Yes, Says who? Well, brother so and so said, or pastor so and so, or whoever said it, you better get it right for yourself. Yes. Because it says, you can enter God, you can uh, enter his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise, yes. and be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. For the Lord is good. Good. <laughs> Didn't say he is bad, he says right. good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blessings. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let me see. Keep me, keep me going here, coming. Count your blessings. Name them one by one, huh? and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Huh? There's many, 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 many. If you want to have a sad time, you know now's the time to say, "Well, let me see. Let me count my blessings." You start counting your blessings, you ain't going to be sad by the time you get done. That's right. Unless, if you continue to be sad, then what you need to do is, you need to get saved. Yes. And say, Lord, I need you. <laughs> Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes, thank you, Lord. That's the best way to be happy, you know, mm -hmm. is to have him on you, or you to be on his side. Yes. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise thank God. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just a few reminders. Uh, the 28th, uh, Sunday the 28th, we talk about, tell your mountain about your God. Yeah, I got a few nuggets here I wanted to share with you. As we review. But, uh, and you've heard this before, but you know what? It's okay to hear it over and over. Yes. And hear it over and over. <laughs> and we have some of these handouts over there. It says, don't tell God you have a big problem. Tell your problem, you have a big God. Yes. <laughs> we magnify our problems. Yes. We magnify everything mm -hmm. more than we magnify God. Uh -huh. Amen. And then it, it says, when life is too hard to stand, mm -hmm. kneel. kneel. Yes. <laughs> when life is too hard to stand, it's okay to kneel. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're talking to God and you're laying down or you're kneeling or you're jumping or you're happy, it doesn't matter. He's going to hear you anyway. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's no certain ways that you have to be. 
That's right. But you know, he's going he's gonna to hear you. You're a child of God. And he won't, you know, he won't, he won't, he won't take these things from you. Here's another one that says, tell your mountain about your God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You want to you want to tell whatever problem's going on, you want to tell them something? Mm -hmm. Tell them about your God, how big yes. your God is. And yes. not how small he is. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Oh, I was talking about us being the church. We'll never change the world by going to church. Mm. We'll only change the world by being the church. Yes. Amen. Yes. And if you don't have that one, you can write it. We'll never change the world by going to church. You can come to church all you want to. You can come here. But this is not the church. This is a building we gather ourselves. We assemble ourselves together. Amen. And we encourage one another. And it's good. Amen. But we'll only change the world by being the church. Mm -hmm. And Mark 16, uh, 15 through 18 says this in New, in New King James. And he said unto them, God is telling us, he said unto them, well, Jesus told him, told his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh -huh. There's a lot of creatures out there. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people, a lot of lost creatures out there. Yeah. <laughs> he who believes in me and is baptized will be saved. Yeah. Don't be afraid to share. Amen. And don't be afraid it's going to fail. Mm -hmm. All you're doing is you're taking the word and you're sowing it. Mm -hmm. You're planting it. And they have to hear it yes. and receive it or reject it. Yes. But the seed was planted. Uh -huh. When the seed is, when you plant a seed, it will grow. Yes. Amen. So I'm taking the word of God and I'm sharing the word of God and I'm sowing it to somebody, some lost yeah, soul. Yeah. And when they hear it, it's up to them to say, you know, uh -huh. hey, they have a choice. Receive it or reject it. Yeah, yeah. But right. if they receive, things are going to change for good. Yes, Amen. Things are going to change for good. And these signs will follow them. These signs will follow them that believe. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. don't let nobody tell you, well, you know, <laughs> this can't happen. These signs will follow them that yes, believe. Definitely. So you are a believer. You're a child of God. Mm -hmm. In my name, he says. Yes. In my, my name. name. <laughs> will they cast out demons? Yes. And if you don't know by now, <laughs> you don't just fight people. You're fighting principalities in yes. high places. Yes. It's a spiritual battle. Yes. And you're not going to win it by yourself. Yes. You're yes. not going to win it in the flesh. Amen. No. You're going to win it with the word of God. Yes. It's already won. No, but we no, have to no, take no, the authority no. and yes. use his word. Amen. And if you don't use the word, mm -hmm. you're defeated yourself. Amen. Amen. Because you're no match to the enemy. Yes, yes. Amen. In my name, it says you cast out demons. Uh -huh. So there, there, yes, there's demons out there. Yes. yes, there's evil out there. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will by no means hurt them. Yes. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Yes. Yes. We need to know this. When you know yes. this, you go do what God has called yes. you to do. The yes. church, the body of Christ, you, the believer, mm -hmm. going out there and doing these things that he yes. told his believers to do. And when you believe this, you know what you do? Is you step out in faith. Yes. Not in fear. Well, maybe it's going to work. Maybe not. Not in doubt. But you step out in faith, yes. trusting that these things will work because yes. his word says it. And I'm going to believe it. And of course, yes. Philippians 4.13 says, I, take the I and yes. put your name there. Whatever your name is, you just scratch the I and say, Jose mm -hmm. can all do things. all things through Christ who mm -hmm. strengthens me. Lord, I can do all things through you mm -hmm. because you're with me. Yes. Amen. And you've given me authority. And I'm using authority in Jesus' name. Man, I'm blessed already. Yes. <laughs> Told you I wouldn't hold you long, huh? <laughs> 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 uh, let me see. Our most powerful weapon. Some of us are still learning this. <laughs> because we have problems with our mouth. <laughs> we need to put a guard on our mouth we need to sometimes zip the lip <laughs> because it just wants to shoot off anything yeah. but it says our most powerful weapon i didn't say this it says the most powerful weapon is our voice mm. our tongue my bible says in in, uh, in uh, 
uh, Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue mm -hmm. or in the power of your words, in the power of your voice. Yes. When we speak, we can give life or death mm -hmm. in situations yes. and hope in circumstances mm -hmm. and attitudes we wish to change. Amen. So all you have to do is you, you can speak it out knowing that it will change because I'm going to speak the right things. Yeah. I'm going to do the right things and say the right things. Amen. So, whew, man, those nuggets are powerful. Yeah, yeah. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is not for wimps. Amen. <laughs> so if you see yourself a wimp, get full of the word and you won't be a wimp anymore. Amen. Praise God. God made you and he wants to use you big or small. That's not the problem. The problem is, are you willing to do it? Yes. Are you available? Mm -hmm. Are you making yourself available? Mm -hmm. Because he's not picking and choosing. That's right. He's just making, he's just waiting for you to be available. Mm -hmm. And when you make yourself available, he's going to use you. Yes. Wherever, you know, you can call somebody, visit somebody, or share with somebody, mm -hmm. whatever the situation may be. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Come on there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Tell your mind about your God. When you start confessing the word, things happen. So praise God, you know. Yes. You know, uh, there's, a, there's a story in the Bible about four friends. <laughs> they brought another friend oh to where Jesus was. Mm -hmm. And then God, you, they were used. And, and they went and they brought him to Jesus. Yes, and they did. interrupted his meeting. Yeah. I said, man, you don't interrupt my meaning, you know. I want to be popular and I want people to see me. And, you know, hey, the more popular, the more I can get. Mm -hmm. No. No. Jesus saw their faith. Yes, he did. Amen. Jesus saw their heart, mm -hmm. their spirit, their faith. Mm -hmm. Man, he spoke to the, the sick man mm -hmm. and he told him what to do. He says, get up. Yeah. Take up your bed and go. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he didn't have no attitude about it. Yeah. So we need to have our attitude right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And that's okay. You know, whatever may seem wrong with you is right with him. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Let me see what else. Yeah. Think positive, not negative. Start counting your blessings. Yeah. Have a thankful heart. Have a grateful heart. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. we're just going to continue from there. But... Uh, there's a there's a lot of scriptures. Keep going, Colonel. Hallelujah. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Keep going all the way to the end. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. All these are good. There we go. <laughs> I saw this. God is my boss. I'm his employee. I'm thankful for my salary called life mm. with benefits called blessings. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's given me eternal life. Yeah. But he's given me blessings while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. This is good. I like this. Keep yes. going. So, if the devil sends you any junk uh, mail, whatever your way, just label it. Return to sender uh -huh. in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> Don't receive it. That's it. You know it's not for you. If right. he's whatever he says, he says sickness. He says junk. I say it's not for me. That's it. It's not from God. Amen. The enemy comes. How do you know? The enemy comes to steal, kill, mm -hmm. destroy. Oh, he wants to distract you. Uh, defeat you and just give you all kinds of junk. Yeah, yeah. Don't receive it. Says, you know yes. what? This is not for me. That's it. Return the sender. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying, well, give it to the person next to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to pass it on to nobody else. No. You just say, return the sender. I, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe when I was lost. Maybe when I didn't know any better. Yeah. But I know better now. Right. So I'm sending it back where it came from. And it's yeah. not from God. It's not for me. That's Keep it. going. Mm -hmm. 
Some of you need to write this down <laughs> until you get it right. Okay, let's see. Okay? But it says, Jesus is my healer. Uh -huh. We're going to be talking about Jehovah Rapha, uh -huh. our healer. Amen? No matter what my body is telling me, and believe me, when you wake up, your body speaks to oh, you. Yeah, <laughs> when I wake up and I get up, mm -hmm. it sounds like snack. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> I hear a lot of snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> but whatever your body's telling you, uh, I'm, I'm just trusting God to heal me. As a matter of fact, He's already healed you. The stripes on His back, the stripes He received is for your healing. He's already healed you. And bless me with vibrant health and overflowing joy. Amen. So, you know what, regardless of what your body's telling you, Greater is he that sent me. Amen. He's already blessed us with healing. Yes. That's one of our blessings. That's one of our benefits. Claim your healing. Body line up with the word of God. We see your healing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, yes. Lord. That by Jesus Christ, I am healed. And you can confess that. Yes. And receive it. But you receive it for yourself. But regardless of what your body's telling you, if you're not in the Word and renewing your mind to the Word of God, mm -hmm. you're just going to receive whatever the body's telling you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to give in and you're going to suffer all day and think about your hurt all day instead of thinking about what the Word of God says. Right. Amen. Have Scripture, have Word, and confess it. Don't just, just don't think about it. Confess it. Get it out. Yes. Amen. That's what you're doing. You're confessing. Lord, this is what your word says. And I'm standing on your word. And I'm believing your word. And I'm receiving this healing. So body, you line up with the word of God and yes. be healed. Amen. Something on the outside, something on the inside. It don't matter. I'm standing on mm -hmm. healing. I'm standing on the word. And I want to receive my healing. Keep going. Yes. Okay. Here's some names of uh, God from the Bible. Mm -hmm. I was talking to the congregation earlier about these. These are some names. And I don't know how to pronounce all these. But still, you see them in the Bible. And we just skip by them, you know. And we never research to find out what they mean. Yeah. Elohim in Genesis 1.1 1, 1, and Psalms 19.1 says, God, he's a power and might. Mm -hmm. Elohim. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is just a few. There's many in the Old Testament and New Testament. <coughs> Adonai. Malachi 1 6 says, Lord, a reference to the Lordship of God. Yes. Yahuwah, Yahuwah Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Genesis 2 and 4 says, God's divine salvation. Mm -hmm. You know? It's cut your gamut, too. The four uh, letters. <laughs> there you go. Thank God for your salvation. Mm -hmm. That's a benefit. Hallelujah. Have you ever thanked Him for, for saving Him, for saving us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't save Him, He saved. Yeah. But thank God, thank you, Lord, for my salvation. Thank you for eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm glad I'm able to go to heaven and not hell. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, he chose. Jesus mm -hmm. chose. He said before he surrendered to the Father as he was at the cross. He says, Father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. If that don't touch you, mm -hmm. you need to get saved. Yeah. Because he could have said, Father, <laughs> just wipe him out. <laughs> And he, the Father could have said a legion of angels to just wipe them all out. Or just say, you know what? We're going to stop this bishop right here. Just take me back home and forget it. You know. But he didn't. He says, before he surrendered himself to the Father, he says, forgive. So who are we to hold anything against anyone? Forgive. You know, that's a good thing. Some of us have been holding uh, unforgiveness for a long time. And, and it's hurt you. And it's bothered you. And that's all you think about. It's time you start thinking a different way. Think yeah. like he wants you to think. Amen. Amen. And just forgive and let it go. Give it to God. You know, when you cast it on him, let it stay there. Don't take it back. Because mm -hmm. somebody yeah. needed, needed, needed that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Jehovah Roy, Roy, Psalms 23 and 1 says, The Lord, my shepherd. Oh. He's our shepherd. Es nuestro pastor. <laughs> He's our pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's our Abba Father. <laughs> mm -hmm. Praise God. I mean, all of these. Uh, uh, Scott, uh, some of these uh, might need help. Jehovah Shaman, Ezekiel 48, 35. The Lord is who is present. Thank uh -huh. you, Lord, for being in my presence. Yes. 
Amen. I don't know about you, but some of the things I've gone through, I've had twice almost died. But he was with me the whole time. Mm -hmm. And he had, a, he had a calling on my life, just like he's got a calling on your life. Yes. And maybe you're still here because he's not finished with you. Yes. But if you want to finish on a winning note, yes. line up with him Amen. and find out what calling he's got for you, yes. for yes. you to fulfill that call in your life. Amen. Amen. It's never too late. Never. If somebody told you it's too late, disregard that. That's not what mm -hmm. the Word of God says. Right. Line up with the Word of God, hook up with him, Get saved and start doing what God has called you to do. Yes. Amen. Ooh. Come on, now. <laughs> yes. Jehovah Rapha. We talk about this all the time. Who's Jehovah Rapha? Uh, he is the Lord, Lord our Lord. healer. <laughs> Amen. He's our healer. So, just, you know, just give it to him. It's a done deal. It's yeah. an awesome blessing yeah. of being healed. Praise God. You know, <laughs> like I told the congregation earlier. I've heard people tell me this all the time. You know, well, God put this on me, you know. Or, you know, the uh, Lord told me, uh, if you want to be like Jesus, you just got to suffer just like my son suffered. Come on now. If you know the word, you know that's wrong. <laughs> if you don't know it, it's time that you find out. He put it on him so you, he don't have to go through it. Enemy, steal, kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be thinking that way. Mm -hmm. But he's, Jesus says, I come that you might have life. Right. And life more yes. abundantly. Yes. So, he went through it, paid the price. So you don't have to go through that right. Right. anymore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This one, Scott. Jehovah. Mekadesh. Mekadesh. Is the Lord thy sanctifier. <laughs> You've been sanctified in Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Go to the next one. There you go. Jehovah uh -huh. Jeremiah 23 and 6. It says, Lord, our righteousness. Yes. Man, these are just a few names. Yeah. You start learning the name of Jesus. When you see it on, in the Bible, when you see it spelled out in a certain way, you know, Jehovah Jireh. We talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. Who's Jehovah Jireh? Lord He's the Lord our provider. Yeah. He provides. <laughs> He supplies all of our needs yes. according to His riches and glory by yes. Christ thank Jesus. You, Lord. Amen. So, thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Jehovah Shalom. <laughs> he is what? The Lord our peace. Thank you, Jehovah Shalom. <laughs> and El Shaddai. We mm -hmm. hear that all the time. Yes. He's God of the mountain. He's Almighty God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. We might have Scott to come teach on these sometimes. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce all these, but uh, uh, El, -Olam. El, -O El Olam, the everlasting God. Mm. Praise God. This is only a few. You know, remember what the Bible says. We are to study to show ourselves the proof. Uh -huh. You can go in the Word, you know, instead of wasting time on whatever, you know, open mm -hmm. your Bible and spend some time in it. Yes. And, and when you open your Bible and study, it's called relationship. Yeah. I'm having time with relationship mm -hmm. and we're growing and I'm growing and I'm I, I'm drawing closer and closer to him. Go ahead. So all these names are worship names. Yes. Are worship. All, yes. all the all these names are worship names. Mm -hmm. They're all worship. Yes. Everything those are all awesome. Okay, things you say to worship. The Lord yeah. our banner. Yes, 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 yes. So you. every word when you say that you're that's your worshiping. Awesome. That's good. Awesome. You know. <laughs> worship him. This is awesome. I also have uh, worship, uh, praise. Here's a uh, a definition for it, or acronym, acronym. Praise, power release as I submit every day. Praise is a power release as I submit to Him every day. Hallelujah! You know when your hands go up and say, "No, I just want to praise You and worship You," and there's power. As I release to him, as I submit to him every day, I surrender myself to you. I commit myself to you on a daily basis, Lord. Repeat that again, praise. Praise is power released as I submit every day. That's a, to God, Elohim. 
Amen. And uh, worship is uh, honoring God for who He is. I just want to worship you. Yeah. You know, I, I need to say Glorify. this too Glorify. because uh, some of us are. Uh, let me see. <laughs> some never participate. Hmm. They just spectate. No, some skip certain part of the services because they have a favorite part. Oh. Some look for <laughs> entertainment. Ah. Some look for different uh, other denominations. Mm. Praise and worship is not just a warm up. Yes, you can right. write this down. That's Praise right. and worship is not just a warm up for the service. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Some of us think that, well, you know, I have no need for uh, praise and worship. You know, it's just a, a warm up of mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. No, you got it all wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, we may go into worship and never come out of worship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the praise team knows this. I'm not up here just trying to make a name for myself, you know, or look good or look bad. If God leads us into a praise and worship and we never come out and we're still praising and worshiping God, maybe the same song over and over and over. You know, the, as long as the presence of God is here, that's all we want. Because that's what we're here for. Yeah. Worship is what he created us for. Worship is what he created us purpose. for. That's what we were created. Amen. So remember that. You know, it's not just part of the service. It's not just a warm-up part of the service. Yeah. And I'm not going to say, hey, you guys, you're cutting into my time now. <laughs> it's time for you guys to get off. You know, it's up. It's, it's my time now. No, it's God's time all the time. Uh-huh. You know, it's not about oh, us. It's, it's about Him. You know, He wants to bless His people. Yes, he does. That's why I told you, whoever's up here, praise Him. Mm -hmm. uh, woman of God, man of God, pray for them. It says, Lord, use them. Bless them, Lord. Have them deliver whatever you have for us, Lord. And I receive it. We receive it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's your participation. Yeah. That's your blessing. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to bless you, but you're not receiving it. Mm -hmm. You know, He's knocking, but nobody's opening. Mm -hmm. You need to open up because He wants yeah. to come in. He said, If I come in, I can sup with you. Yes. And he wants to bless you. And we're not even opening the door to be blessed. Mm -hmm. hey? Some of us just block our own blessings. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah, the pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. We man, we we've got so many beautiful things. Amen. We want to be uh participators and not just spectators. That's right. Amen. We want to participate in this. Praise and worship is not is is not just a warm-up service. Mm -hmm. We invite the Lord to join us. Yes. Amen. We invite the Lord to join us mm -hmm. even before we start our service. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come and bless us. Lord, and if it's through a praise and worship song, so be it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's here to stay the whole service. Yes. So works at works daily too. Visit with him daily. Invite him to join us. Amen. Mm -hmm. In Revelation 3 and 20, he says, mm -hmm. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yes. If you hear my voice mm -hmm. and open the door, I will come here in and dine with you, mm -hmm. and he with me. Yes. But we have to open the door, Amen. and he's not going to force himself on That's you. Right. He's not going to open. He's not going to force himself. He's not going to open the door. He's waiting for you to yes. open the door. Amen. Amen. We know he's done what he's done. Yeah. And he's not going to do your part. Mm -hmm. We got to do our part. Yes. Amen. We gotta, we gotta do our part. So Amen. praise God. Even the prodigal son knew. You know what? If I go back to Father's house, I can have a better life. Mm -hmm. And some of us <laughs> brought up in church and mm -hmm. say, you know what? I had it better when I was in church. Mm -hmm. I had it better when I was serving God. Yes. I had it better yes. when we were assembling ourselves together. Uh -huh. And we can come back to Father's house. And Father never runs from you. We run from Him. The blessing is, we can always come back to Father. Yes. Amen. amen. Some of you have been running too long. It's yeah. time to come back home. All right. Come on now. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Second Samuel 6, 14 says in the Amplified, David was dancing before the Lord with great enthusiasm, all his might. And David was wearing linen ephod, a priest undergarment. Some people got, got upset. Yeah. Some people don't like 
when you enter in, you know. Uh -oh. It's okay for you to be crazy for the world, no. but don't get crazy for God. It'll, it'll make people angry and it'll make people jealous. Mm -hmm. So you got to be totally sold out to God yes. and not the world. You got to be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. Mm -hmm. If you're a man pleaser, you know, you'll ne they'll never be satisfied mm -hmm. anyway. But God will. Thank you, Lord. Can you say thank you? <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I am. Here's a, what Scott was talking about. It's a praise is a weapon against Satan. Your only enemy. Mm. Praise is a weapon. So why are you not using these? That's it. <laughs> why are you not entering into praise and worship? Mm -hmm. That's a blessing. We need to uh, enter in. You know, some of us are called. <laughs> some of us are called to sing. Some of us are gifted with beautiful voices. You know, when I, my voice, you know, when I sing, people run. But they run away. They run the other way. <laughs> mm. <laughs> some of us. When we, we, when we sing, people attract, are attracted. And God uses that to touch people. Amen. We're sending a message. That's our message. That's our gift. But we never use it for Him. We're using it for other things. Yes. Amen. Or we're still stuck in, well, I'm still not good enough. God never uses me. We got to get off of that, of, of the past, and get into the now. And say, Lord, thank you for blessing me with awesome voice. Mm -hmm. For a gifted voice. Thank you for blessing me with whatever you're gifted to do. Amen. Some of us are gifted different. So don't try to copy somebody. Just be yourself and be what God calls you to be. Mm -hmm. And when you be that way, you know, thank God uh, my body has different functions and different parts. But one body. And they all function together. Yeah. And one of my parts is not trying to be what the other is. And we're going to have a chaos, and, and I'm going to drop right here because they all want to copy each other, and they're not doing their individual oh, gift thing that God has given them to do. Amen. Amen. So as a body of Christ, let's accept one another, work together, and receive this, you know, and start functioning the way God wants us to function and be in unity and love one another. Amen. And work together. <laughs> Serve together. <laughs> Praise God. Church must never, uh, we must never leave uh, church. We must always continue to seek Him first. Amen. Amen. Seek Him first. Praise God. Keep going, Carmen. Let me see what else we got there. Oh, here we go. We've been talking about attitudes and we're close with this. But uh, we've been talking about added, uh, Beatitudes and, and Matthew talks about the Beatitudes. But we've been talking about attitudes. Remember, attitude is the little thing that makes a big difference? Yeah. So if you're going to have an attitude, have a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Have the right attitude. <laughs> My be attitudes, God's given me. <laughs> be attitudes is be yourself. Be the original God made you to be. Quit trying to be somebody else. Yeah. Quit quite trying to be a pretender. Amen. Amen. Be a participator and not a spectator. Yes. Yes. Amen. Be blessed. Be faithful. This is only a few. Yeah. <laughs> be committed. Be compassionate. Be strong. Be thankful. Be giving. Be healed. Mm -hmm. Be kind. Be focused. Be happy. Be forgiven. If you don't have these, you can write some of these down or just take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Be victorious. Be available. Amen. You know, some of us never make ourselves available. Mm -hmm. Except when we want somebody to be there for us. Yeah. They better be available for me. God, you better be there when I want you, when I need you, okay? But we're never available. We got to make ourselves available. If we want to be used, you're not being used because you're not available. Be helpful, be a winner, be positive, be excited. Yeah. I'm excited to work for, for Jesus. Amen. It's okay to be excited in doing your job, but also be excited in being. So not to God. Amen. Be an overcomer. He told us, you know, hey, you can be of this world, but you're not of this world. We're just passing through. He says, in this world you have tribulations, but guess what? Be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So you can do the same thing. Amen. All these things are there for us. What a blessing. Be happy. Be loyal. Be dedicated, be a champion, be a, uh, 
Uh, ready? Be yeah. on time. <laughs> Some of us have a problem not being on time all the time. Be on time. Thank God for my parents and my upbringing, bringing, and thank God for the military, because I'm on time. <laughs> I'm on time, but you know what? Now I'm in God's army, mm -hmm. and so are you. So let's not be late all the time. Let's be on time. Can you I'm a be on time person. And your employer is paying you to be on time, not be yeah. late. <laughs> be enthused, be hopeful, be trustworthy, be joyful. Uh -huh. And of all things, be patient. I may not be what you want me to be. <laughs> so be patient with me. God's still working on me. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> He's not finished with me. <laughs> He's still working on me. There's better things to come. And see yourself that way. Amen. God's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. You know God has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's but right. you know what? The enemy has a great plot for you. Mm -hmm. So which one would you take? Mm -hmm. Great plans or great, a great plot? Mm -hmm. I'll take what God has for me. Yeah. Right? Because right. I know whatever God has for me, I can do. Mm -hmm. Because he says, you can do all things through Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. So let's remember that. Be happy. Be joyful. And count your blessings. Amen. Thank you, Christ team. I enjoy that all the time. You know, <laughs> Count your blessings, count them one by one. Count your blessings, see what the Lord has done. Praise God. It's a beautiful song. So praise God. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to share your yeah, word. You, Bless your people, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for meeting all their needs, Father. Help us, Lord, to be available to you, Lord, and help us to count our blessings. Amen. And be on fire and set on fire and be ready for you, Lord. And be available for you in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you. Some of you, this is your first time. You never sold out to him. You never confessed him as your Lord and Savior. This is the time. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And from this day on, your life's going to be changed. Because the Bible says that we're new creatures in Christ. The past is gone. The new is in. Yes. The old is gone. The new is in. And you're a new creature in Christ. So quit living in the past. And start living the new life with Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Some of you, whatever the situation may be, I, I, I had it on the screen. Whatever your body's telling you, remember, tell them what the Word of God says. Yes. Tell your body what the Word of God says. And you can speak it out. Don't just think about it. Right. Speak it out. Confess yes. it. Get it out of your mouth. Yes. You know, and say, by Jesus stripes, you're healed by it. Whatever it may be, yeah. touch up area of your body that needs to be yeah. touched and say, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yeah. I believe it and I receive it for myself. Yeah. In Jesus' name, Jesus paid the price. So I'm going to receive it. By his stripes, I'm healed. And I'm going to receive that right now in Jesus' yeah. name. So <laughs> receive it. Amen. <coughs> if you're watching or listening, you still have a chance to give me your tithes and offerings. Yeah, Just go to our website. It's on the screen. Just hit that donate button. If you are mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to say thank you and God bless you and be blessed. Amen. Praise God.